I don't know. At, Dude, at, at some point in time, everybody in Lucasfilm has said once that Snoke could be Plagueis. I don't think that they're going to pull it out and make that happen. I hope. If they, if they did, you know. They, if, ah, if, it would tie if it they, in. If it they, would just bring it all in, man. Ah, 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 ah. Anyway, welcome to uh, Fanatics of Film. My name is Ben, and this is our Star Wars show, Blaster Piece Theater. Welcome one, welcome all, and may the Force be with you. We're so glad to have you with us. We are working uh, on a lot of new stuff here uh, with at ba Blaster Piece Theater. We've, uh, we're working on uh, getting some cool stories with, uh, with our X-Wing gaming, but uh, I do have my cohorts with me. Thomas. And I'm Alex, the Jakku Juggernaut. <laughs> Alex, you do you think that Snoke is alive then? Yeah, we okay. talked about this. I, we, one of well, our I first bring videos. I had three reasons why he has to be alive. One, the the, the firmest reason is the Force connection. That after uh, after Snoke's is dead, Ray and Kylo still are connected by the Force at the end of the video. Okay. Or at the end of the movie, after it was explicitly stated that Snoke's is the one who connected your feeble mind. Uh, number two, the well, it's like a two and three. It's like the force projection where, dude, the dice. After Luke left, the dice, they disappeared. There was like a third one. This is, again, we already okay. talked about this. Snokes is alive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to beat a dead horse. Number one, he knew. He knew when when he when Kylo walks in with Ray, he walks in. My apprentice, my faith has been restored. He he knew. He knew. It's it's very reminiscent to the Palpatine scene where Palpatine and Vader and Luke are there. Palpatine can sense the anger. Strike me down with all of your hatred. Like, it, it was the same thing. Snoke knew. Snoke knew. Luke uh, force pulls his lightsaber right, goes to attack Vader. The Palpatine didn't react. He knew. Snoke's knew mm. Kylo was going to kill him. So that that just plays into he's still alive. He knew. Well, did you? No, have any I was gonna literally. Thoughts? I was just gonna say literally. Like I mean, he's describing everything that's happening as it's happening. So if you want to totally say, yeah, I could. I I can see that. Yeah. Number two, a little bit of more of a side point, but I'm saving the best for last. Uh, the dice, the dice that Luke gives Leia. And why does this really matter? Well, you hear a lot of people, oh, well, Plagueis got chopped in half, his body was on the ground, Hux comes in the room, his body's still on the ground, he's gonna shoot Kylo, it doesn't happen, scene's over. Kylo, long story short, the body was still there. Now, if we remember, Luke is on Hawk 2, right? He does the force projection, he's on crate. he sees Leia, he kisses Leia, he gives he gives Leia the dice that he took from the Millennium Falcon, she has him in her, hand, in her hands, he goes out, he does his thing, Luke dies, he disappears, he becomes one with the force, whatever. The dice are still there, they're still there. Kylo walks into the base, on the ground, the golden dice. This is after Luke has disappeared, he picks up the golden dice, they are there and then the projection goes away. This is canon that the projection can hold. The projection can hold after the user is gone or maybe a certain amount of energy is put into it. All I'm saying is that Snoke's body there doesn't mean jack. So, so isn't, uh, I mean, and a lot, I think this is just, just to bring this up because I've, I've heard people saying it passing and tweeting about it, just that Luke, uh, um, because Luke's proje force projection of himself um, was something different other than himself. And so you see when our, this new projection of Snoke in the film that you see that you're saying that he's projecting himself, right? That's what, yeah. what you're saying. Yep. And seeing that, the people have said because he looks very different than the Force Awakens. So that's, yeah. Just so that's, you know, back up. Yeah. To back that up to whatever, you know. He does. He does look different than the it's Force Awakens. In the Force Awakens, he looks a lot more disfigured he compared to The Last Jedi. Now, number three, the biggest point, which even if they don't have Snoke's come back in the next movie, this third point, 
the way they wrote it, it has to. The mind connection between Kylo and Rey. So when they first, when they first connect minds, right? Do you guys remember this? When they first connect yeah. minds. Force Skype. <laughs> force Skype. Hey, what force up, Skype. dude? How you doing? You want to cyber <laughs> Skype force? Uh, have a naughty time. Just got to get my uh, forest Wi-Fi turned on. Hmm. You made me lose my concentration. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry. The mind connection. The mind connection. Yes. When they first establish the connection, Ray is freaking out. She's like, you monster, you killed your only father, blah, 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 blah. She's not really paying attention, right? If you look at Kylo, though, he is the complete opposite. He's calm. He literally says, what's happening? Who's doing this? Are you doing this? This can't be you. The strain would kill you. It's not me. He, he confirms it's neither of them. Movie goes on, right? Snokes confirms, oh, hey, I was the one doing that to you. I was the one who connected your feebler minds. He was the one who made uh, Ray see that Kylo would turn, which is kind of another, he put that in her head. He saw it coming. End of the movie, what happens? We see the rebels getting on the Millennium Falcon. We see Ray chilling at the top, and all of a sudden, they're connected through the force again. They're connected through the force. It's for that split moment. They're looking at each other and they fly away. And uh, isn't she, she's like, I think she's like literally like, she's like standing on the balcony and looking outside and he's there again. So yeah. do, I can't remember. Do you remember if there was like an exchange of words or anything no, there? No, okay. it was just an exchange. Oh, you're right, actually. I don't believe there was an exchange remember. of words. I, I, I swear it's just, they're looking at each other. She turns her back. They fly away. They. They were connected. She wasn't doing that. She was not exerting any force. He was not exerting anything. That that had to be Snoke's. It has to be. <laughs> I think I, it's dead. So, yeah, we'll I see. I, I, it'd be interesting to see how they bring him back if they do, um, and if and if so, that does make you think about Luke. So if you're talking about force projection, and and everybody says that he was he had projected himself, and so therefore that's why he's still alive because he. He basically projected himself being cut in half. So if you want to get into that, like, okay, so that even brings, that brings me to think even more about how Luke was projecting himself. So Luke, anyway, there's a million things that could happen here. Uh, if Snoke is alive, then I think that Luke should be alive too also. But I don't know, that's just my two cents on that. Um,